Hey everybody, welcome to the Harmonix live stream. Today we have a really awesome and special stream. It's been a long time in the works and we're happy to finally be able to talk about this. Jonathan's here for the first time. Long time no see. Not the first time. It's been yeah, a while. It's been a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've been cooking up some secret drop mix stuff that's just been revealed. Just been insiders revealed. Insiders last yep. week. Insiders last week and uh, a little bit to everybody today. Um, Jonathan, what, what did we reveal this morning? Uh, we're showing off a brand new solo focus mode called Puzzle Mode for Dropmix. There it is. There it is. The fourth play mode option added to uh, this select screen right here. Mm -hmm. I've been excited to I know. play this. We've been working on this for a long time. In the time. real world for a while. Our top secret. We yeah. had some, um, some awesome folks from the community came in to play test. Yep. Shout out to uh, Jeff and Thank you Scott. for keeping our secrets. And, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're glad you could finally uh, share this with the world and yep. uh, yeah, start uh, playing. Yeah. So. Before we jump in, why don't you go ahead and tell people a little bit about what Puzzle right. Mode is and how it works and all that stuff. And we'll, we'll, we'll reiterate that as we yeah. hop into gameplay, yeah. obviously. So the idea behind Puzzle Mode, so you can see that we have like our player accounts at the bottom. When Drop Mix first came out, we saw like a lot of people were playing Party Solo. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of us who were just playing the game at home uh, wanted some more things to do when we were just sort of like breaking out our cards, mixing music at home. Uh, and a lot of the ideas behind the design of the drop mix cards from the beginning was the idea that these cards can be used to play in a lot of different ways. Right. right? Like the, the different like musical uh, instruments, colors, levels, all the sort of properties of the card let us do different stuff in Party and in Clash. Mm -hmm. And now in Puzzle, we sort of use those same um, mechanical elements, create a new way to mix music for solo players. So the idea in Puzzle, as we sort of have explained a little bit through the blog and we'll be showing off here for the first mm -hmm. time, is that, uh, like Party, there's matching requests that'll show up. But unlike Party, you can take all the time you want. You have a big grid of requests that fills up. And you're trying to build big combos uh, and clear as many requests with a single card play as possible. Uh, now, I said you had as much time as you wanted. That's true, although after you drop a card, you have a little bit of a mm -hmm. time window to drop additional cards before more blocks show up. So you get that that strategicness out of clash. Yeah. You're like, all right, I need to set up this play, but also once you make that play, you get that fast basis of, right. oh no, I'm running out of time to do these get, requests right. or whatever it might be. Uh, so you know, kind of inspired by some of our favorite puzzle games, it has that element of like setting up and blowing up awesome big combos and a little bit of time tension where uh, you want to decide when's the right time to play a combo. Mm -hmm. Musically, we sort of wanted that to create a build. So at first, you're sort of dropping single cards letting the board fill up, and then when the board's super full, you want to be able to knock off a bunch of right. stuff and have a big musical change, mm -hmm. a big event. So there's kind of that, with everything we build for Drop Mix, we always want to make sure that the game mechanics try to encourage interesting and cool rise and fall and totally. uh, build up in the music. So yeah. I think we should jump on ah, this, uh, this place some puzzle, yeah. I don't think anyone's seen this in action besides the Because, few yeah. community playtesters. I love play testers. yep. Many months ago, um, uh, I have a handful of playlists with yeah. me. Um, so for uh, we could how, explain how the puzzle, I? you play with uh, thirty cards. So yes. the idea is that uh, you play with uh, two of the themed uh, drop mix playlists. So we, Nick has a selection of them ready to go today. Uh, let's see, what you can going. you can build custom decks. We haven't invented custom decks rules, so we'll sort of you know we'll see what the community folks come up with. Uh, we've mostly tested it with the single decks, but because like in Party, you're going to need a mix of colors. You're going to need a mix of levels out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of built around the idea that you would have some of the uh, diversity of cards that you see in those themed playlists. Mm -hmm. uh, you could try and uh, cheat the system and come up with some custom builds and uh, see how you do. I'm curious uh, to see what people do yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, once they get their hands on this. Yes. Yeah, so Fever is, uh, is, is one of my favorites, uh, the Season 1 cards. Combine that with uh, Lucky there. Shuffles so you protected. shuffle them up, drop them in. So yeah, like in other game modes, like if you're playing a um, uh, one-on-one clash, you'll take your 30 cards, shuffle them up, put them into the center slot there, and you will register. I don't want to putting a face down. It's not like... I know. I already know what's in play. this deck, but that's okay. Drop All right. In. So off. puzzle, you draw six cards into your hand. And one of the key differences from other game modes uh, is that you always keep six in your hand. So whenever you drop one, you pick one up, and that's a way that you can sort of fish for additional cards to try and set up a bigger combo. All right, so what are, what are people looking at? So what we're looking at here 
basically, you can picture that the, uh, the requests are coming towards you, mm -hmm. and you're sort of blocking them uh, from hitting the slots. If they ever hit a slot, uh, then you'll lose everything in that row. So you see up here you have 30 actions, so that can be 30 card plays or uh, equalizer spins. We'll get to the equalizer a little later. And you see the grid is filled in with the different chunks of, car of uh, symbols. You'll notice that these three reds are all in a block right there. The bigger the block, the more points you get. So even though there's three blues down here, you can't clear those with a single drop. Right. Uh, and you're not going to get as many points as you would if you could sort of mm -hmm. get those combined together. So don't you kick us off the mix. Uh, I let's, see let's take a listen. pretty decent play right here. I could get these reds nice. and level ones all, all in one yep. play. So you got bonus points for that mid-size block there. And you saw that blue block, will everything will slide back once its uh, space has been cleared. And it'll build a bigger mix there. And those it'll blocks start will always slide in. back as far as they can, but you know, yep. you see, you get some weird shapes going on yep. here. Sometimes they might be blocked by other right. blocks. Right. Once, once a block has formed, it's always going to keep its shape. Mm -hmm. So that can be good for letting you pull off a big combo, but it might fill up a little faster that way. So you got to keep an eye on that. Let's see. Look at this. Solo, uh, Les Cavillard uh, guitar going on here. There's some unfortunate things going on. There. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I get too many big, big combos. But maybe if I clear it out, I'll get a level yep. three or something, or blue and so Yep. So that green two cleared everything in that bottom row. Solo bass line. And we're letting our blues build up here. So you see this uh, slot right here is. Um, it's uh, flashing red, as well as the one on top. That's telling you that if you don't make a play this turn, that's going to overflow. You'll lose everything in that row. You'll lose an action as well. Right. Let's uh, see what you got. Oh, OK. A little iffy. Yeah. Right. Plays. So clear as in other game modes, uh, when you play a card into a slot, you have to play a card of equal or higher level. Uh, so that may factor into your decision. If you have some low cards in your hand, you might try and get those out early so you avoid blocking yourself out. Yeah. Yep. Clear those yellows. Uh -huh. Okay. So Nick chose to just drop two cards right away, which you can totally do. But while this timer is counting down on the right side here, you can choose to drop another card if you want to. So that's an opportunity for you to fish for another card. Sometimes you draw into that perfect play. What do you got, Nick? You got any uh, full have the combos? Level three. All right, but you do have you have the level one the red. Level one. So check this out. If Nick drops uh, this row is all ones and red. So if Nick drops his level one red up there, he's actually going to wipe out that whole row in one shot. Now also push back. Yep. Clear so everything back a little bit. A little bit. Let him build a little bit of a bigger block. So he could choose to play again. But if a road's not flashing, it's not going to overflow. It'll always push up right to the edge. You can sort of press your luck a little bit, set up a bigger combo. Let's see what Nick comes back with. All right. Keep that on standby for a second. Think out, play. That's the thing. Like, you could really take your time yep. initially to think out your play. And then once you play that card, though, you can't take it back. Yeah. You have to, you have to you follow commit. through with your turn, but you can still play. And Right, you can set up a combo if you realize that you're, you know, left something about to overflow. Mm -hmm. There's also the, the effects card. I don't know if that was a right time. I'm going to snap this mix. It's a good sort of little country, little pop mix going on Let's here. Let's clear this red, and I think okay. we'll, we'll hop into talking about effects cards. All right. Now you're going to do something about this uh, this row here. You got a three there. Just there it is. It there it is. There. So that'll get a ton of points. 48 points for that block right there. However, it doesn't get the full clear bonus because Nick did leave behind that level two there. So that's the thing that you have to think about is not only how can I set up big combos, but how can I make sure that when I drop that combo, I wipe out the entire lane as I go. Right. Um, let's see. You ready to play an effects card, or what are you thinking? I, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's right. go with these effects Just cards. Just demo it. So Just effects cards, as in other uh, game modes, go ahead and drop it. Two. So effects cards got to play them on, on equal or higher power. They'll clear out any single blocks on the whole board. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll just score the, the normal one point for those. But as you saw right there, they're a good way to set up bigger combos. Yep. And they'll also score for like if you're trying to eliminate a level two block or level one. Totally. It'll still yep. count as a card per se. Right. You still get the points for it. Uh, because combos get you more points, you're not going to get a ton of points, but it really helps you as a setup play 
and a way to get out of trouble with the lane to fall. I can buy you a little bit of space there. I so see a pretty big play I could do here by playing the blue right in the middle. Okay. Those level ones in the back. Yep. Also get that big huge. See a 24 point there. block, 6 point block there, total of 30 on that turn. Let's see what we can pull in. Alright. Reorganize my hand a little bit. <laughs> So this is a real nice, as long as you have a, a yellow of two or higher, yep. that's basically like a freebie right there is that you can just clear out that whole row. Probably do that. What else do we have? Uh, yeah. Green. You also got to deal with this bottom row here. Yeah. Let's see if I can think about that. Ugh. So you can drop your yellow and then fish. I'm nervous. Yeah, I do like that Ricky Martin vocal. That's a good one. Oh, level you one. Didn't get what you needed. Do your, you can do that level three blue. Let's do it. Yeah. I'll go with that. So that's okay. So that buys you some space, makes that green combo a little bigger. Here we go. And then you drew the perfect answer right there. Unless, let's see. Ah. Oh. So this is this is a time where effects might come in handy again. Uh, right? Because yeah. A lot of singles on yeah. the board. Yes, I'm showing off the spin. But yeah. I'm in a good position. Am I, am I? It's up to you. If you don't have the effects, you can always go yeah, for the yeah, spin. Let's, all right, so let's do the spin. So the spinner, so the spinner like in other game modes, will clear all cards of the matching level. So all the level one cards in this case go away. But it will also score all the blocks of that level. So Nick just scored those level one blocks. Opened up some space up top. Didn't help him with that bottom row. So you can pick up another card there. See if you got that green you needed, got an effect. Nothing. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. So, I might have had that in my hand, just not that's seeing right. it. You, you know, you had that, you, we, were, we were trying to find a way to get through that whole row there. You got greedy. Tried, tried, uh, tried, you know, didn't quite get there. You want to get a high score. Right. High stress. I'm, I'm sort of like uh, pushing Nick hard. I've been trying to coach him to improve his scores, <laughs> but so far, uh, so, still got some learning to do. Of plays here. Yeah. A lot of low levels. Yeah. The yellow play will only clear out one. Yeah. Piece. You're not finding your effects. That's a tough one. You can go, always go for that Let's spin. Go for it. You've also got all these threes in play. So, of course, never uh, lucky there. You could. All right. Not, well, I will. So it opens up space for you, though. Very good. And then you can let it, you know. Build a little bit. Bigger blue block. As yep. well. Yeah. Really clear those threes. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see what comes out. Yeah. So this is one of the as in, as in uh, party mode. You really want to be thinking about when you drop your uh, low-level cards. Try and get those out early so that you can build up the mix. I got greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spin again. All right. Just, I want. I need to get yeah. rid of these three. Oh. I have to watch. Yeah, I know. Not, not your day with the spinner, as sometimes yeah. happens in I drop mix. I back to back if I didn't want to. Yep. Right? You could, you could spin again. See what happens. Press my walk out. Eventually hit that. All right, so there yeah. it is. So that wipes the board, resets the mix, opens up a lot of play. So now you can let the board fill up a little yep. bit again. Let's see what pops in. Set up some of your bigger combos here. Spinner counts as an action. That's clapping. Yep. All right. I'm gonna have to clear that, but I actually have. Yep. You got a level ones. one beat there. Yep. Really nice. Got Zach Brown beat in there. That's a good play just to start off with. Going again. Still beat. Lots of high level cards. Right? Yeah. No full playing them. No <laughs> on the board. Uh, could clear that red up top. Yep. Let's see that. I do have a yellow. Yep. So normally every turn the rows will fill up by two. When a row is totally clear like that, even if you don't score the full clear bonus, mm -hmm. you're going to get a few extra requests in there. So that fills up All four. Right. So that's another thing to consider is that sometimes it's good to wipe everything out, mm -hmm. get a little bit of a refill there. Baiting if I just clear that blue or if I just clear the green right. and let that back up. Well, let's see. I think, you, I think you have another level three green in there, so you can, you can wait on that coming back. Yeah. 
that's one of the real things you want to be thinking about in puzzle mode. Sometimes you want to take a, um, a few points on a drop so that you can set up a big combo later on. Yeah. That was a good Next turn, I can play that effects card. I just love it, getting that poison bead from the chill mix there. Okay. That, back, few those rows up. Next time I got that level three green, I'll be able to clear that bottom row. Nice. That's a lot. Yep. Yeah. So not a lot of points, but it set up all these big blocks. Yep. All right, so all there right, it is. So that's exactly right. what you wanted to see there. We'll do that. Let's see what else do I have to set up? Yeah. So you just drop that. Let it ride. Pick it up. See what the board fills in. Francesca Sonora combo here. What I like about this mode is also like just like Clash and Party, yep. get different types of mixes that you yeah. really kind of won't get naturally in freestyle. Yeah, like, it really encourages. In freestyle, you're going for like, oh, I know this song, I know this song. What do they sound like yep. together? But then like here, it's like, I have two, right. two, two, two great playlists <laughs> or whatever your deck is. Yeah. Like I said, with every game mode, we really want to encourage people um, to create interesting mixes. Right. Uh, and like you said, discover stuff that they might not otherwise find in freestyle. Oof. This is looking rough. You'll notice you can always keep an eye on the board here. Everything lights up in red when you're in danger. I noticed that. As an extra great. warning just to say, watch out, make sure you play something and uh, save that from overflowing. It's a little tough. I have another one. I know. It's nice. The wild's going to get played. I'm not sure what makes yep. sense for right <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Uh, let's just throw that in the middle. Okay. Drop that in the middle. Pick up, pick up your card. Maybe right. you got uh, something you needed there. Very you got your other there. wild. Let me clear that red. Sure. Got to. Okay. That's the thing that I can believe. Like, yeah, the first time you play, you might not. Yeah, might not. Uh, That's an easy like beginner up. mistake. Part part of the the fun of this is that we want to encourage people. Like I said, it's a little different than the other modes because yeah. you're constantly refreshing your hand and you have that opportunity to draw into the perfect play. I have some level one. Level okay. One green, level okay. One, There's uh, the three that you couldn't get earlier. Off. All right, Hello. that helps. So even though that cleared out that big block. You still have a little bit of a problem here. Yep, that'll help you up top. Just trim in there. I'm gonna just... So you can pick up one more. Oh, please be in the... What you got for a blue? Ah, no. no. Oh, no blue. oof. This is tough. No blue. You can spin or you can just accept. You can you can let it overflow. You want to demo the overflow? Yeah, just so, yeah we actually haven't. You know, just, you know, it's not that you screwed up. No, it's just we wanted to demonstrate me. it. So you'll see that row will get totally wiped out. You lose an action for that, and then you also clear that slot. Right. So sometimes if you get in a situation like Nick was in before, where you've got too many threes on the board, if the row overflows, that's going to bump out that three as well and open up a new uh, play for you there. It's a level two flash at the bottom. That's Let's perfect. Get that walk the moon base. Full lane like clear there. Clear and sit. Pops in next. Effects card. A yeah. little bit handy. We're getting close to and so we yeah. show the finale. Yeah, Nick mentioned the finale, which is coming up. Might be a good opportunity to clear out a bunch, clear out some space with your uh, effects card yeah. that I see you have there. I wonder if that is my last action or my second last action. That's, that's, think, that's what true. What makes the most sense That's here. true. That's a, that's a, that's a good question. Follow up after. I think what I'm going to do is the way that my hand's going to go. Yep. Play that. Get that yellow there. Okay. Clear those out. I'm not going to make a combo yep. on it. Yellow. So you can actually like, let it let, let, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah let it ride. Let it ride. Not too much danger. Yep. But, so yeah, now is the time that if you're going to do that effect, then there's a the question about where you can shift. 
I'll leave that up to you. Where is this one? Okay. Alright. No, I didn't draw when I put that much down. Back six. There's a lot of cards. So. Not back. You cleared out a bunch of space there. Hopefully this red will come together here. Nice. <laughs> Enormous red combo. So during the finale, the timer's running. You can drop as many cards as you want. Uh, but you still gotta follow the rules. Can't spin. Right, you can't, you can't yeah, you can't spin. But you can, you can, this is sort of like meant to be the big uh, end of your show. So you can drop as much music as you can to have this big finale moment. Try and get as many points as the board, on the board as possible. So Nick found himself with no green cards left in his hand. I had it, but it was the wrong level. Oh, yeah. Level yep. one. Yep. Very level two on the board. And when that's done, that's the end of your game. Final score brings up at 66 singles. So satisfying. Double, double points for your uh, medium blocks, quad points for your uh, large blocks there. Six full clears. Ooh. For a grand total of oh, and nope. sorry, how could I forget? I love this game. <laughs> just the reminds you of like how good of a combo. You it's have really fun. It's something that the team sort of like. We like making really weird shapes build up, right. so that's always satisfying to see that rebuild at the end there. Nine hundred and ninety-two total points. It's not on the iPad. Almost a thousand, and you can name your high score as you can in uh, your party mode. Oh, I oh think you hit delete. Uh, Oh my <laughs> gosh. There you go. Compare that against uh, the existing, it'll track your, uh, your time. So that's pretty good. It's right not at bad. the top of the board there. Not quite a thousand. Something special will happen if you hit a thousand. A few weeks ago, I was uh, usually hitting around 600 every time I played. Yeah. I was like doing all right, doing all right. I think, well, before I applaud your amazing coaching, I did. <laughs> Jonathan did wipe the, the score off yeah. the iPad yep. just before we started, but. I did have 1,018, so I did have a new high score on that pad, Got that earlier Pretty today, good. but you're, you're, you're coaching on my first playthrough after a little bit while. Yeah. After a, Almost 1,000, right on the edge. Help me get right there. Um, so let's see. Right. Um, we talked a little bit about deck construction, uh, just to re-hit on that, I guess. If you yeah. Tell people how your playlist yep. that can come So it's basically this, uh, set up, you know, like in other game modes, we wanted to make it easier for you to jump in if you're playing with the... Uh, the pre-made uh, themed playlists. Mm -hmm. uh, you can customize your deck. You got to play with 30 cards. Uh, yep. But like you saw, you're going to need, you know, the board is going to request ones, twos, threes, just like party mode. Mm -hmm. So similar to party, you're going to want a mix of cards, uh, different colors, different levels. The effects cards are useful, mm -hmm. but they can only clear the number requests. Right. Again, similar to party, right? You can only clear the number requests. You cannot clear the level. I'm oh, sorry. Um, uh, they will clear the number requests in their row. Uh, mm -hmm. And they will clear any singles, is what I meant to right. say. Uh, so you might have a big green block or something like that. The effects card can't clear that for you. It can but clear it a could, single green request. Yeah. And if there's so a that's green the behind it, yep. if there's a small block yep. there, maybe you could form a, yep. almost a full row there. And Right, so you can, you know, uh, you, if you get particularly lucky and it's all singles in a row, an effects card can clear that. So you're going to want a few effects to sort of like help set up the bigger combos. Right. But the effects cards can't clear all the combos on their own. They can only clear mm -hmm. number combos. Uh, so that's one of the things that you got to balance out. Uh, your wild cards, again, as another mode, are powerful, mm -hmm. but they're only going to be able to deal with level twos. So you're yep. going to need at least some ones and threes in there to be able to handle those kinds of requests. Exactly. There was a question, uh, I forget who asked it on the Discord earlier, but mm -hmm. um, since there is all about timing and you sometimes you get a little bit of a window to play, yep. if you play a wild card, how does that transition actually play into your timing of the window going down? Uh, how, or, you know, does it affect, I think, I think we tuned it so that um, the timer will begin once scoring is done, and I okay. think the wild <laughs> transition might be delayed a little bit. We can double check in the next game. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't think it buys you time. If I if I remember right. correctly, that's a good question. Uh, the I mean, people up. want to make sure they can people get as want many to like push the, push the boundaries a little push bit. That's yeah. a. I think I think we specifically said we'll hold off on the audio transition mm -hmm. to make the the game timing uh, consistent, uh, just so that we avoid confusion there. Yep. Troy, I noticed you asked for questions in chat. Do you have any? I I do. Oh, sorry. Any lined up? For I us? do. Uh. 
are you still able to screenshot a mix like you do during uh like during um yes. Flash and, yeah. and everything else? Indeed, we yeah, actually did. Oh, right there. You'll now see puzzle mixes right in there. Got that poison bass line, which I dig. Country yep. drums, and this was the one with the uh, Francesca Sonora yellow card in there. So yeah, that's another mode you can snapshot uh, the save mix, uh, yep. share those, save videos of them. Works all, the, all across the entire game, so wherever you have cards. Yeah. Next question. All right, hit us. Is it the same deck building rules as Clash? So we didn't set a specific point limit as in Clash. It's more a, like party, like I said, where it's all about uh, having a mix of levels to be able to respond to the request. So if you want to experiment with wild heavy builds, uh, you'll be able to do that. Um, you know, we kind of want to see what, uh, if there's a particular build that people find particularly effective. I will say that if you have um, some of the, uh, the Discover Pack playlists, mm -hmm. uh, those include level one yellows and greens which do not uh, exist in the starter pack or in the playlist packs. So those are going to help you deal with some of the level one requests that will show up in the top and bottom rows. Yep. So that's the thing to consider, too, if you've been collecting cards. Uh, you might want to throw in some of those level ones in there. I'd be curious to see if any people come up with the optimal yep. deck to play puzzle mode with. Yeah. I think we could hop in and play one more we'll round. do another game, OK, before we show off some more stuff. Yeah, we'll talk uh, about Who yeah. has the highest score in puzzle mode? Slash, what is Nate's score in puzzle mode? <laughs> That's the other uh, question we have while you guys are doing so, that. So I think in the Insider newsletter, we actually gave the credit. Uh, Nick Gregoire from our QA team did a lot of um, support and testing and help with this mode. So uh, he, he had the highest score we were willing to verify. Yeah. 1453? I want to yeah. say 1453. I think. So we had we had a, a screenshot, you know, as we we went through different builds, and you know, we didn't want to count all the scores during Bell, but during one of the last testing sessions, I think he hit that one. So, nice card from the Chiller set. Yes. One of the chillest cards in Chiller. <laughs> Anything else, Troy? Any other questions people uh, hitting us with? No, nothing I can't field just <laughs> yet. I'll get some more for your next right. break. I'm curious to see how I'll do with uh, minimal coaching. Okay, all right. <laughs> but I'll try. I'll bite my tongue. See, I'll bite my tongue. Now. Very, very great. Yeah, Dead Metro card is a cool sound. It's actually, it sounds very spare, but it's actually pretty high tempo. So that's why you're getting that really like fast Fallout Boy bass there. Okay. Uh. Major fall shifts us into a major key here. Oh, bouncy mix Nick has going on. Yeah, let's see. Oh. So the trick would be, actually, do you have do you have a way to deal with this three here? This is an important uh, trick in puzzle mode. I so can. If you want the full lane bonus, you would have to clear out that three before you play that level one. You won't actually get the credit for doing oh. the full lane. All right. So order of play does matter here. You drop that first. Now, when you drop this level one red and cheer your guitar. Okay, okay, okay. Now back that up just another. And that'll back that up just enough. Come on. To see it. That's no, okay. No, no. So it'll get, you've bought yourself enough time there. So this is this is the situation that I was just talking about. If you look at the top of the screen there, Nick's looking for a level one yellow. That would be the perfect card there to clear out that lane. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've uh, you've got this level three in the way, yeah. but you know there's ways to. Deal. Start there, see if I yeah. draw. So this level two effects card will clear the level two block in that yes. row. Leaves that green block behind. I don't oh, wanna lose okay. it. I don't oh, you wanna don't lose, lose it. it. Alright. I wanna clear. Okay, clear that out. So that that was a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Now you gotta 
I was just hoping I would clear it out and be able to play a while. Right, a, three, a three yellows. or a one or an X would have gotten you exactly what you needed there. All right. Just had some, some rough luck on the spinner. I drew all reds and blues when I started. I'm still pretty yep. much just drawing that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Only my shuffling skills. But... Yeah, that is, that is part of, like I said, Level one in uh, greens and yellows will help you out a little bit in this mode. Clear some of this. Yeah. Get something going so I can hopefully draw some cards here. We do have a wild. Okay. It's good if that red does start to build up. Base in there. I think, yeah, I think last round also started off a little Yeah. Yeah, do you have another level one red? No or level one. Those up? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you know, I'm gonna have to clear that red. Okay. A little too nerve wracking. So a lot of points. Uh, not trying to All right, so that was an example. So we do we do set up the wild card transition uh, as the timer is going, so we don't we don't delay the timer right. for that one. Get yeah, those threes out. Set yourself up a yellow combo there. Oof. Blue. Do I want to push that back? Alright. All right. There's three. Alright. Alright. Okay. Quest. Yeah, oh, go for clear it. Clear two. Uh, you gotta do something. You gotta do something. Oh, Extended our second. Oof. Oof. That's gonna push back All just right, a little bit. No, no level two uh, green or a level two wild. All right, level, that'll help, that'll help. I'm help a little bit. I'm yep. all blue. Okay. Except for the so, stairs. People, people, it sounds like we're asking about the uh, the effects cards. So the effects cards, like in other game modes, you can go into any slot. You gotta play them on a card of equal or higher level. And they're gonna clear any matching level requests in their row. Mm -hmm. So earlier you saw Nick drop a level two wild on the bottom row. That cleared the level two request in the bottom row, but not the green request. However, they're also going to clear any single request on the board. So whenever you see something with a dark gray border that's not connected to a block, you're going to wipe that out with the effects card. So that doesn't get you a ton of points, because the bigger the block, the more points you get. But it opens up space and can help you set up those big block combos. Go for the full clear and just sacrifice those rows. Let's see. Why do I do? I can hope yeah. for a one draw. Yeah, no, that's. I think so, that's okay. No, I didn't get it. Yep, you got. But, but you you can drop that too. Yep. Seven. Keep pushing. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I think I think you're just oh, getting wow. too greedy. Oh. No no reds in the. Well, you can no, drop that level three red just to. Yeah. One open. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. Now you're safe. Look at these blues. I know. Who shuffled? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Gonna have to clear that. Get the full row. Good. Yep. Not too set up for much else. Yeah, but that's but okay. It's fine. Hey, you got. You know, it cost you a lot of cards, but you got what you needed out of that row there. Level two red. Full clears are pretty nice. We're still largest block you've seen. Block clear oh, that we've the, seen. The from largest, so that's a good question. Testing. We have a high score. Yeah. You know, Greg, I'm sure Greg Rye had it. A full screen? It's <laughs> a, a good combo. This is, this is a nice killer combo where we have uh, the uh, Break For Me vocals from Amplitude, yes. as well as art by uh, Ryan Lesser, creative director of Amplitude. 
That's a long one. I will say this one. I always enjoy a good break from the mix. Yeah. It was good. Dude, let's just clear right. some cards. So the spinner, to there. remind anybody who's just tuning in, that um, the spinner will clear all matching cards and will also clear all matching requests on the board and score those. So Nick just wiped out all the level two requests, scored all the points for them. Spinning does not get rid of the blue cards in your hand. You that is true. Abundance. That is true. <laughs> I don't have a level two blue, which is... That would help. I mean, it's, a, it's an okay time to drop one of the... Because you had like four level one blues. Yeah, might as well get rid of it. Might as well drop it. Clear out some space. Full time. Level two yellow. That'll be handy in the turn. It's a really good chill. I know. What pack is Break For Me in? So it's spread out across a few. The vocals are in chiller. Uh, correct. Yeah, to get those Break For Me vocals. Those are those are in the uh, chiller pack. Mm -hmm. It's available now on yep. Amazon, right? Now on Amazon. Uh, yeah, and then the uh, there's a couple other cards from it that you you already have if you have the drop the starter set. Yeah. Um, because you have the, uh, the break from the uh, red card and the blue beat card. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, anything, any answers Hold to that on. bottom row there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Didn't see it. All right. Yeah. Tough. Might be a good time for a spin. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Try and uh, at least clear out some space on the bottom there if you could find one of your other. Have you already used your wild? Uh, I think so. All right, so that'll be so it up. A level two green would be nice, but you can you can just sort of let it ride here. Yeah. Let's see what let's see what pops in. I think I just saw my. Packs. Oh, that level one. Knocked by level two. Oh, yeah. This mix up. Yeah. Yeah, the church of synth is also. Awesome. Okay, change up the beat. There's lots of claps in there. Yeah. Okay, save here. Oh, there you go. Here's effects. your effects card that you found. Okay, the effects are in clear. All those single requests. It's gonna be really handy. See that major shift? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I always enjoy when Evan Essence tears up a little bit. <laughs> Get that level one. Yeah, yeah. So just like in party mode, there's also strategy here about sometimes you actually do want to play that level three card if you're planning on a spin mm -hmm. and set yourself up to like clear out a lane like uh, this lane that's looking for the level one. I wonder if I spin. If I spin, I can clear yeah. out, I can get. That's true. Do you have clear. Yeah, you, you, have, have, you, the do have, the, you do have the card you need. two actions. So if you can get a two or an X here, There's the two. there it is, there it is, okay. Nice. I don't want to grab it too quickly. I would have been full ambitious. Yeah. Keep spinning. All right, and drop your level one. Warlords of the Old West. All right. And we're going to get some finale. Yep. For now, count down here. There it is. All right, the final fill. Let's All right, time the clock is ticking. I don't have a level three red, do you? No, uh, I don't. I'm gonna play okay. it just for fun. Yes, you can always fill the mix for fun as you go into your final turn here. One card left. Yeah, whatever. Let's play all my cards, even though it doesn't matter. Yep. All right. We had 9.92 before. We got a few more singles this time. Yeah. That's a big block. Nice, nice sizable oh. request. Both Love request the weird shapes. There. Yep. Oh. 760 sides. Right, so. Does that compare? What was that? Yeah. Was 992. It's okay. You know, getting a little tired. Yeah, Pressure's getting in. Oh, yeah. Long day, you 
No. Right, what wasn't that? That was yeah. not bad. Um, so that's puzzle mode. That's, that's, that's puzzle mode. Any other questions coming up, Troy? Nothing. <laughs> before before we uh, before we move on, now that people have seen puzzle mode, do they have any other uh, any, any questions from the chat? Uh, just a moment. I lost my chat. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> the list. Okay. Sorry, I refreshed the page. Feel free to share. Uh, let me look yeah. here real quick. Um, so yeah, we shared off puzzle mode. If you guys have any questions about this, obviously drop them in. Twitch chat or yep. Mixer chat. Keep an eye. Yes, Keep Puzzle an Mode eye. is a free update. Yes. We free announced update. When, is it, when it will be available. When does it come out? It comes out tomorrow. Yeah. It's very exciting. No promise on time tomorrow. Right. Yeah, I don't know exactly what time We don't, we don't control the various nope. like App Store and the yeah, Google we'll, Play Store distribution. Cannot Apple promise, or yep. cannot promise midnight. But yeah. uh, will we be able to save longer mixes or sets? Uh, not okay, it's the same yeah. sort of like mix saving. We, uh, we did recently add the ability yeah. to we can show it off. Think is when you export the video, you could export yes. a longer version of the mix, yep. but yes. not a set per se. Right. So yeah, when you save your mix, you can now save the full loop of the mix, mm -hmm. which is very yeah. awesome. Uh, we yeah, explain. Puzzle mode is a new solo, uh, single-player focused mode. You could play it collaboratively, like you we could were totally, today. you could totally <laughs> collaborate with friends. You can swap off. You can yep. um, you can compare scores on leaderboards. Yes. Uh, have yeah. you talked about difficulty options? Oh, That's up to there, you. There, there, there is a secret uh, okay. extra unlockable. Won't tap it, but yeah. I mean, there's... All right, we are playing it on says normal, normal. Right. It says normal right now. Uh, office high score, we said, was, was pretty... 14, we think 56? Well, yeah, about that, yeah. about that. I had a good one we'll Double check, it was, in, it was in the Insider Newsletter. You should all sign yeah. up for the Drop Mix yes. Insider Newsletter. Talk about what that is, yes. Nick. If you are yeah. not a member of the Drop Mix Insider Program, the Drop Mix Insider Program is an awesome thing where you, the community, can be the first hear about all the drop mix news and updates and new modes and stuff and all that cool stuff. Um, we shared all this amazing information about yeah. puzzle mode and yep. some season two stuff, which we're actually not going to talk about today. We'll yeah. talk about a little bit later. Yep. Um, with the drop mix insiders, um, you can sign up. There's a link on our social channel, so at drop mix game, Facebook and Twitter, or on the Harmonix Music website. You can scroll and find the blog. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing some cool stuff with the Insider Program over the next uh, few months and all that cool stuff. And yeah, you'll be the first to hear about everything yeah, from the Drop every, Mix. Everything Drop Mix coming out in the next couple months. Yep. Uh, there's a solid question from, uh, I'm going to butcher this, Kirsty in chat. Uh, yes. See if you generate the same puzzle. Yes. So cur currently, you cannot generate the no. same puzzle as another player. Uh, a little that, tough. That's a good, I that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um, and somebody asked what the trophy was. The trophy shows you the high scores for yep. each mode, which is separate for uh, for party and for puzzle. Wait, open that back up. Sorry, oh, I switched. Sure. Gears. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, you can see the chiller yeah. one is from today, as well as the mudry one at the top. Yes, yep. you can you can rename your scores. Yes. Any any of the ones that you create yourself will have a timestamp on them, mm -hmm. so you can look back fondly on your puzzle mode. <laughs> Uh, do we want to talk about the other thing that's in this update, Nick? Yes, let's. I'll let's transition just to you there. You so the other just... thing that is in this update is something that's Go really ahead. cool in your collection view, which yeah, well, first you you'll see some see right little yeah. stats about the cards you've been collecting. Oh, sorry. You're oh, good. You're We're good. We're good. Right. Cool. I was on the wrong camera. Um, but on top of that, inside each playlist, on top of being able to view your cards that you have collected, are these badges. Um, Jonathan, if you want to. Talk yeah. a little about what so badges, badges are, are really so we know um, a lot of fans have been out there like collecting all the cards and which is super awesome and we wanted to sort of encourage you to try and play the different modes and try different things with all your card collections so each playlist has eight different badges to um, to earn uh, some of them are similar across all playlists so some of them are just for basic things like registering and making mixes and sharing mixes with your cards. Mm -hmm. There's always one that's about kind of musically uh, exploring the uh, the wild card and sort of playing right. it in a different way. For normally, instance, yeah. yes, exactly like that, right? So like normally when you drop a wild card and draw mix, it will take over the whole mix. And these uh, badges encourage you to try a different thing, like mm -hmm. a, a wild card that will shift something in the major 
you know, try and hear what that sounds like in minor. So you can encounter that through play mm -hmm. um, by sort of dropping subsequent wild cards, or you can mess around and freestyle, hit them that way. Yep. Uh, do you want to grab get that one real quick? Sure. Yeah, let's freestyle do it. mode. Yeah. Monday so below 100 like. BPM. Right. So we'll just back out of here. Yeah. So you can drop that. Drop that in there. So like a fun little one. Right, I don't know if we have. I don't slow. know if we have the. I was looking for like a pony or something really slow, but that's actually uh, disturbed is in here, right? There we go. So here we got Blue Monday playing. Blue Monday playing at its normal tempo is 131. So because that's kind of a fast card, we will drop. There it is. It's so our, our, our old friend, Disturbed Drop. Oh. <laughs> so it actually worked in the reverse direction of what I uh, had expected there. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. But if I drop this all the way down. They, they pop in nice and smooth, and you definitely know you've got yeah. a really cool little bag. Overlays that. So. Hop back into so our collection view. And so where were you we? can actually see at the bottom uh, below the playlist, right. one out of now eight. Now it says that we in one of those badges. We hop in there, we'll see. That's lit up. Yep. Uh, and then the other thing that's kind of unique for each playlist is uh, things that focus on how to use the effects card for that playlist. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, uh, the cards in this playlist, uh, Major Fall will like take points from your opponent. So that's mm -hmm. going to uh, give you credits for taking a certain number of points over, over time. Uh, stuff like this, Minor Lift, or I'll show off my favorite one of the badges over in Mirrors. So Mirrors has this effects card that I really like called Busted Up. And that rewards you for playing combinations of beats and vocals. So that gets you two points for every combo. Normally, if you have a vocal card in yellow and a blue beat card, right. you'll get a total of three points for dropping this card. But the badge for that actually asks you to get five cards in a single turn there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we'll pull that. Yep. So in order to set up a clash turn where you get five points with Busted Up, it's not enough to have one microphone uh, card on the yellow slot. Mm -hmm. You need to use a card like uh, Pony, which has a sung bass line mm -hmm. in the green slot and uh, set up a combo like that. So that's some of the stuff that uh, the badges sort of encourage is like clever combos and yeah. um, oh, a little bit more advanced play. Yeah, it and definitely helps you discover like different ways you can use these cards. Yeah. And like if you're just beginning with, with drop mix and you, you go in here, oh, how do I actually do that? And you start going through all the cards. And like, right. I need Pony, I need this, all right. Let's, yeah, let's set exactly that up right. And, uh, and then the other ones are sort of about just exploring the different modes of play. So hitting a full mix bonus by dropping uh, cards from a certain playlist in Clash, uh, hitting combo requests mm -hmm. uh, in Party, and then getting those full lane clear bonuses <laughs> in uh, in puzzle mode. We're so. gonna we're gonna do a stream soon. Yep. Uh, that goes into more detail on, on badges and some strategies for mm -hmm. some of the more tough to get ones in Clash mode. Yes. So stay tuned for that. That'll yeah. be a fun one. Hey, quick question. Hello, yep. Troy. Do these badges unlock Google Play? or Game Center achievements? <laughs> These are separate from yep. the Google Play and Game Center achievements, uh, but they are saved to your profile on those services, so you can use them, uh, mm -hmm. you can earn them across devices. And they do unlock something special in the game. Yep. Um, when you have earned, so like Nick showed you earlier, you start seeing your badge counts appear underneath each playlist. Once you've actually gotten eight out of eight badges, the playlist will sort of turn into a, a chromatic, uh, multicolored shader. Mm -hmm. And anytime you drop that playlist in a game mode, it's going to show up with that special effect. Right. So it's kind of just like a little way to sort of bling out your profile mm -hmm. and uh, make your favorite playlist look a little cooler mm -hmm. when you drop them in any of the different game modes. Yep. You don't have all the badges unlocked, but no, we'll, we'll, just, we'll save just that for you. Build, so, we'll uh, save yeah, that you. Save that for everybody that. tomorrow when it's out. You'll really get that yep. with every single playlist that you own. You're going to get all the badges. Yes. Go through and get those. Yep. Looks really cool and it's a nice little flair. Yeah, drop down a little your extra flair to reward. Uh, yes, yeah, similar to endless set list icons from an RB fan there. <laughs> yeah, nice. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Keep scrolling the collection. You can actually... uh, no? Uh, 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 well, and uh, that's as far as we uh, that's, uh, Well, uh, yeah, cool. Yep, cool. Yep. <laughs> I mean, this build will be out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So yeah that is true. People will be able to, yep. to dive in on a lot of stuff tomorrow. Yep. It'll, be a, it'll be a great Wednesday. It's going to be a big Wednesday for, for Drop Mix. Yeah. Um, Troy, how are we doing on time? 
We are uh, five minutes out from six. Five minutes out. I yeah. have a thing we can try that I can't promise will work. Wow. I don't know what you're talking Before about. We're pushing the boundaries so, uh, here. Hey. Or maybe I do. You know what? I'm, yeah, you know what this is. Wait, I cannot what? guarantee that it works because I tested it and <laughs> it sort of works. It sort of works. What are um, you doing, Troy? We're gonna give away some promo cards. Oh, someone was just asking. Someone about was just how asking about how to get promo cards. Normally, they're from uh, events and some conventions, and uh, possibly being an insider. If I don't know if that's a thing yet, I don't know. Uh, but as part of our stream stuff, we are gonna try and give them away here on this right. stream. I again uh, can't promise this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot confidence. of caveats from Troy right now. Nope. Okay, so we are using a tool called Latch Giveaway Tools. Latch is a developer, game developer. He does a ton of streaming stuff, including developing a really cool giveaway program. Uh, so we're going to try this whole thing real quick. I'm just going to cut it over on this monitor here and hope it works. Uh, <laughs> again, no promises here. Let's just move this on. Sorry, two seconds while I put this on the screen. Sort of. Okay, this is the weird giveaway thing. I can't see it. So uh, loading in the viewers, oh, yep, yeah, the viewers Ooh. from the channel. Uh, that's everybody. That's that is yeah. everybody. And let's you when your name gets drawn, you have I'll start a thing and you'll have thirty seconds to say that you're here. If you don't say that you're here, it'll draw again. I hope I win. <laughs> so <laughs> let's give this a shot. It's, it's yeah. Well, I don't have audio. I don't know where the audio is. Oh wait. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't work, then I'm sorry. Uh, these will be mailed, and I'll mail them anywhere in the world, by the wow. way. Wow. Pretty being generous. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, Duke X fam, you're a winner. Oh, it's, all right. You have literally 30 seconds to say something. Uh, right. If you don't, does the screen this. update when he says something in chat? Yes, he did. Yep, he got it. He's here. Uh, oh. DM me. <laughs> uh, awesome. Hey, it awesome. worked. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations to Congratulations, Troy. Duke X fam. Uh, <laughs> because that works so well, you want to do one more? Yes, one more. All right, cool. That's it. Duke, uh, if you, Duke X fam, if you uh, DM me with your address, I will send you the promo cards, and I will do one more drawing here. We'll do this one more time. Start animation. I'm very excited about this. 30 seconds. There's a lot of delay. There's a lot of time delay. You'll have okay. time. Hope I win. I also have to click a second button. How's everything going over there, guys? Great. This is very exciting. This Enjoy very this exciting. bunch of hard charts mix. Are you? Uh -oh. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Get that guy out nope. of here. That's that's our that that's our boss. Do not nope. say he does not get one. <laughs> he does not. Oh, wow, you can just cancel it. Great. Yep. It's fine. For those of you that don't I, know, Dan Walsh is uh, director of communications at Harmonix. Yep. Uh, my boss. He has plenty of promo cards. <laughs> he has plenty of them. That's great. <laughs> They're probably <laughs> coming out of his stash. Sorry, That's true. No, First yes. Yes. We yes. take it from Dan's private collection. Great private job, Dan. Reserve. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Totally rigged. Oh, there's me. HMX Mudry. Uh, engage Rage. You have 30 seconds to say something once I click the button here. Start. Okay, you have 30 seconds, person. Engage Rage. Huh? This is very exciting. Clock's ticking. Clock is ticking. <laughs> this, this is the best mix possible for this. Yeah, do we have, do we have the Somebody said something. Oh, they said They're something. They're here. All right. Cool. All right. Engage Rage and Duke XFam. If you DM uh, the Harmonix Twitter account, or Twitch account, rather, uh, with your info, I will set up. Uh, I'll get you all the, the promo cards. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I think that takes us right about to time. Yeah. Give away some promo cards. You showed off brand new mode coming to Drop Mix tomorrow. Uh, puzzle mode, which is a single player. 
block blasting extravaganza yep. uh, game mode. Um, Start posting your high scores, your deck builds, and can't wait. let us know how it goes. See. You beat Gregel's high, his, yeah. his high score. I'll be fun to see if you <laughs> beat that tomorrow. <laughs> Without cheating, don't, don't cheat. Um, or cheat, ah, whatever. Um, we have two badges, which are new yep. fungal collectible achievement-esque thing. Come to your uh, drop mix collection, and reward you for collecting cards and using them in different ways. And we'll have a little bit more to say on some other stuff yeah. in a future stream or on a future day. Um, sign up for Drop Mix Insider. Yes, sign up for the Drop Mix Insider program. Uh, the link is pinned to our Twitter and Facebook pages. Um, get early access to all drop, upcoming Drop Mix news about season two. Um, yeah. If you were already a member, you would have known all about what we were yeah. doing today, um, last week. I think that's it. I don't know if you have anything else to add, Jonathan. No, I'm just, I'm just like, you know, we've been working on puzzle mode and all these new updates for a long time. Yep. So I can't wait to hear what y'all think about it. Yeah. Uh, look forward to seeing your scores. Yep, definitely chat with us on Discord and Reddit and Twitter and Facebook and all that fun stuff. Um, I think that'll do it for us. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, yeah. have a good Hard night and enjoy the Drop Mix update tomorrow. Yeah.